Hello everybody and welcome to part 25 of my Islandception series. We left the last part on a cliffhanger because Montezuma has reached the modern age so we have yet to see what ideology he chooses and in what ways that will influence us and or China, the only other people who have at this point chosen an ideology. <clears throat> Where should we put our eyes? Down here, okay. Those who come well, our happiness just plummeted by 17, so that's probably not a good thing. Alright, let's hand out promotions first. Getting these guys experienced. Scrap Navy, as we've been calling it. Alright, still nobody approaching uh, Delhi, but we do have great generals buzzing about, so I do want to be prepared for that. I'm guessing all that beeping in the background is the end of our deals with Montezuma as well. Salt and wine was lost, so I'm assuming that has something to do with the loss of happiness. We had been preparing for that. And here we go. Okay, he chose autocracy. And that saddles us with 14 unhappiness, but not China. That is interesting. Let's see if we can figure that out exactly. We, China, is, we are exotic to China. We are unknown to the Aztecs. The Aztecs are exotic. This is, this is where it's coming from. Exotic. Uh, they are exotic to us, and we are unknown to them. Um, we did win the World's Fair, so our culture is increasing significantly. Japan has, in fact, declared war on Greece. Uh, we did a good job of um, weakening Greece, so now they are uh, being I'm attacked by multiple people, which is great because we can't really influence them on land at this point. Um, as far as the ideological pressure thing goes, uh, we are, as let's tech here, on our way to biology, after which we will be doing flight. Now, once we have oil online and the flight tech, I imagine the uh, capital is just going to be Great War Bomber, Great War Bomber, Great War Bomber, um, at first for the purpose of attacking uh, the Aztec units. Um, I do think we, it would be worthwhile since our uh, we're doing fine navy wise but our land army has been um, pretty lacking for most of the game we started in a corner we had the snowball sieve we've been doing everything we can mostly just to hang in there and stay relevant the navy's been kicking a lot of butt but on land we're kinda weak so I think I would specialize the planes in anti-unit so that we could whittle down his uh, units and then of course we'll go into the city uh, we'll go to this city over to here we can probably leave him this one and then we can take Addis Ababa come in or something along that lines Tula we can actually act upon from an inland navy here once we have battleships or ranged boats I'm sure we can uh, take that relatively easily I know his cities tend to be high strength so maybe not as easily as some of the other ones um, point being is we're going to be producing a lot of planes and um, let's see with a rebase of 12 at first 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 okay well that's very good news once we capture Teotihuacan we can actually rebase to Cali and get started on Addis Ababa because this is probably where he is in fact strongest I know he's built a couple of wonders here specifically um, So that's the plan, I guess, as we start toppling his ability to generate culture and or tourism while boosting our own. That's all we really can do. Um, so the capital, as I said, will be focusing. We're about to get the Musicians Guild up. That will help with culture. Uh, we'll focus on Great War Bombers here. And maybe um, we did just finish archaeology. I didn't see any notifications pop up. We got one here, here. Uh, 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 there's one there's one there's one right now we only have I think two Hermitage slots available as far as that goes 
Um, it's a hard call how much effort we should put into mining up antiquity sites for the purpose of culture tourism to hold off ideological pressure. Um, I don't know how quickly we'll be able to take out cities. I don't know how much of an influence it's going to have on that. Just the very capture and holding of cities. That's part of the reason why we started shedding cities. Luckily, we were able to shed most of the cities we had before this happened. Uh, speaking of which, we have a city over here that we are about to take. So I suppose this is a good time to focus on that. I believe he, if this gets out of there, can actually attack there. So let's just get him out of there. Okay, and you can kill this turn, yes. So let's weaken it up. Uh, we'll use this boat to come into this tile so that we'll actually be able to heal. Um, three or four more shots. Let's uh, get one of these boats out of here. Bring up from the back. Um, two more, so I think we can bug out just one more boat there. They can go up in the North Sea if we can steal mo more boats. Everybody else is probably going to want to start focusing. Oh, did we? Okay, it still has health, so we will get experience there. Good job. And there we go. And we will be raising this city. I know this is going to hurt on happiness-wise. We can sell Aqueduct this turn. Seven unhappiness. That's pretty significant at this point. So let's take a look here. Um, we got two happiness options here. Dyes, unfortunately. Porcelain. Oh, she's got them pretty good. Genoa, porcelain. Oh, Genoa's the one right up here, isn't it? Okay, well, I kind of wanted to save our money for other things, but we really need... <clears throat> oh, look at that. It actually makes us neutral, which is really nice because this is going to burn down. So it'll be plus one, plus one, every single citizen that gets peeled off until the city itself is gone. Uh, now ally of Genoa. So now we have visibility all around here, which is great. Um, we do want to keep this guy moving up, like around here-ish, heading towards the north. There was a Greece caravel nearby, but I'm not seeing it right now. Um, I <clears throat> Because of the happiness issue. I think it might be a good idea to not have this particular navy try and take Pharsalos. Let's let this burn down while the primary navy gets over here, which means the scrap navy can now officially uh, this little detachment here, one strong melee, one privateer, a couple ship of the lines can go see if we can capture more boats. Um, but all these guys should start heading towards more defensive positions. Okay, the scout can indeed get in the water this turn. We'll have him come over here, capture... Keep in mind, we do have the Great Wall now, since we have Delhi. So these guys aren't going to be able to get away all that easily. And he has uh, altitude training, so he can chase things down pretty quick. We're going to bring this back to Delhi to rebase it over to Mycenae. That way we, don't, don't, that way we, we do not have to try and uh, swim through there. All these guys are fully healed up though, so let's uh, just start heading them over to Pharsalos for their next job. Uh, the Ironclad is much faster moving than these guys if we stay in shallow water, so I think he can afford to heal up one turn. <coughs> Oops, I knocked over my coffee. Okay, let's see, is it going to be possible for this guy to get a shot? And this is the furthest he can, and he doesn't have range, so probably not, but we can come in here. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Move along, try to get visibility over here. Um, let's see. Worker. He's going to be working on ripping up roads. I guess for that reason, we, we could have just landed him over there, but no, this is fine. It'll take him time to get in the rough and stuff. Okay, these guys were heading back to Beijing. <clears throat> okay, and he's getting... Yeah, we gotta think about that. Maybe I will have this guy swim all the way to Delhi. We don't have anybody on the land over there. It mostly doesn't matter because everybody's attacking Greece right now. <clears throat> and because we have the Great Wall, I really don't see him coming back. We don't have the boats over there to hold it either way, though, is the, is the problem. 
Um, okay, looks like we're safe to go through. Uh, workers finished. Uh, we'll tuck him into there. Oh, trade routes. That's the other thing. Trade routes. He's sending us trade routes, I think. And we're not sending him any. Um, train routes with you. Yeah, he's sending us a couple. It's not saying any ideological pressure, but would it? I don't actually know. Um, and as far as the silk, that's from a city that we're burning down, so we gotta pretend as if that's not the case. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna have to refuse all these deals. Portugal has denounced the Aztecs. I wasn't even thinking about that. That's something our scrap navy can get into. Alright. Quarter growth there, unit promotion, land, because that's what we're doing. Oda is plotting against Ramses, but he's just declared war on Greece, so I'm not even sure what that's about. Um, we are in unhappiness right now. I'm not sure exactly why that is. Um, but while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and reorganize our... I think York is also a city that has pure food tiles, so we'll just do that. I mean, I know Nottingham is too, but we don't have anything to offset that with. Maybe some of this has answers. Spices to Ramsey's ended. That's duplicate, right? Okay. And you know what? This city has spices. So, I wonder if... Because once the planes are up... You know, once we start bombing him, we don't have a need for this city anymore. The city was just to make the future war against him not awkward. And we really will benefit from shedding as many cities as we can. Obviously, that's not something we can do while we're building National Wonders. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and sell something off here. Water mill's got a high maintenance cost. Um, so yeah, we'll get these guys practiced up here, maybe. Portugal has denounced that. Yeah, we saw that already. Uh, doesn't matter. It's, uh, in resistance anyways. London Musicians Guild is up. Okay, so this is another opportunity for us to stockpile... And this will be under the multipliers of Hermitage, as well as the World's Fair victory. So, we are doing what we can without going overboard. Um, I really would like to build the Ironworks. I know i got to build all the XP buildings. But if we don't get the Ironworks out of the way while we can, um, we're going to be producing everything else slowly. So, it's going to be nine turns till we have flight. We don't know from the time we learn the oil how long it's going to take to get workers in position and mine it up. So it's not going to be a tight nine turns. Uh, seven turns. Uh, barracks. Let's see. Iron Works would add eight hammers. And we have, what, two multipliers? Ten. Ten. All right. So it would be eight plus 20 percent, which is almost, you know, ten. Almost ten. So... This would be closer to, we'll call it 9 since there's a fractional here. This will be closer to 75 hammers. Uh, barracks is 75 hammers, so there's one turn. Um, armory is 160, so that's 2 and some change. We'll call it 3, there'll be some spillover. And this will be 4, so 7, 8 on top of what it would take for ironworks. And this is all napkin mass, so about 15 turns and then we can just pump out plane after plane. I think we have to. Um, and then also the benefit to this is we have a social policy coming up in two turns. We can make that universal health care. That'll It won't be much happiness, but it'll be enough to hopefully help out in this situation. So what this means is that we need to make sure we do not sell off the workshop in Mycenae while it's burning down. Um, yeah, it's uncomfortable having to build that because this might actually delay plane production by a couple turns, but um, as we pump out plane after plane after plane, that's going to be helpful in that regard. And that does mean that one of our other cities should build a carrier so we can start moving planes elsewhere um, because I think a city can only hold six at first. 
and then it needs uh, the airport to hold 10. So the first six planes could go down here, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, that's so good. Immediate rebase to Tenochtitlan front line. Good. But after the sixth plane, we're going to need to be able to move them elsewhere. Because um, until they're bombers, their range is severely limited. So we can only do so much. And if we could get them down here, we could start pelting Addis Ababa. Get a multi-front war. Hopefully by about that time, we'll have, even if it's just the scrap navy, uh, collected in here. Because truthfully, once we grow our navy and we have a good portion of it in this inland lake, say, you know, about 40%, give or take, eh, maybe we won't even need that much. Maybe a third. Just enough to be able to plink off Chula, uh, help Jen if he decides to attack Jen, uh, deal with any units he's got along the shore here, that kind of thing we could probably burn down Coimbra, because Coimbra is absolutely doing nothing. It looks like they built a lot of Mark, uh, whatever those that improvement's called, which now has science too. So, I mean, it's not a bad city, but if we can shed it, all the better. All right, that's enough thinking out loud for now. Let's get to some action. Uh, let's see, these guys are exposed, but within bombard range. No real need to act on that just a second. Okay, so we're thinking move him over to Delhi. That is quite the trek. Uh, but it's even longer if you don't get started on it, so we'll just get started on it. These guys are backing up Beijing. Um, what's going on? I thought I... Yeah, there we go. Alright. And that's really good because they have not attacked us yet. So we can get there in time. All right, Privateer wants to heal, but not if the city's going to get captured. So I'm seeing a warrior here. We should easily be able to one-shot him, even with the damaged guy. Um, if we can't one-shot this, it's going to be because of our unhappiness. No, wait, no, that's not true. Our unhappiness is actually kind of meager right now. Rough. To oh, you know what? Let's before the we, before we do that, let's do this. Um, rebase to, is that Rhodes? No, we burnt Rhodes, right? This is Mice and I, okay. Uh, Mice and I, that, whoa, no, 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 no. Clicked on Beijing. There we go, so that'll help offset some of those negative modifiers. Yep, so we'll move him back, that should be able to take care of the warrior, move one of these in, double help that guy. And since we can't kill this guy outright, let's just get on the Gatling gun, soften him up. Uh, we have nothing else for those guys to do, so just w w whatever we can. Um, heavy boat doesn't need to be in here at all. I still like the idea of bringing him over here for the purpose of backing up our theft crew. So, help the privateer come up. Ah, there is the caravel. Alright. Well, that's good, because we are bringing in forces that could hurt him. Um, let's see. This should be fine. We don't need to keep track of him necessarily, but... Oh, what's this? We could just take that if we wanted. Do we want? I don't see a need for it. I think it's more important to get over here and try and capture great generals. And if we capture workers over there, all the better. I thought we ripped this up. There's no option to rip it up, so it must be a grapple. That would be why it's not connected. Hate when that happens, but whatever. Okay, he gets in preparation for coming over here. Uh, let's have the guy from the furthest back move forward for getting eyes over here. Okay, there is stuff to shoot. And look at that. He is the furthest one away. He can put a shot into that. Very good. Next furthest away can come here and reach, I hope. Nice, okay. And this is the next furthest back. Get started on that privateer. Uh, next furthest back. This one's probably hopeless, right? Yeah. So as long as... Oh, actually, I don't think we're going to be able to get... Oh, yeah, we can. We have a couple, or one boat that's closer. So we can move him here for eyeballs. Next one up. 
Uh, we could reach if we were willing to get bombarded. Let's not do that. Oh, he's got two privateers. Okay, well luckily we got big boat coming in from behind. So one of these boats is probably going to get a little beat up. Uh, but that, that should be okay. Or maybe he gets afraid of how many we actually have. Well, look at this guy. We just brought this guy back to life and he's ready to start going to war. How is that even possible? Oh, the AI is so funny. Duplicate spices. We never did address that. Um... Alright, I'm going to pass right now. Let's look at when other spices are coming back. Um, because we probably will burn down Sen Sun Sen as soon as we get our planes rolling. Okay. So there is a way to get some uh, maneuverability going on here. Alright, let's see if this actually shows us now. Resources exported. We're going to have to do it this way. Uh, we're looking for spices. Well, we have to have spices going somewhere. Okay, that one just started 26 turns. And I'm not seeing anywhere else, which means I'm overlooking it, which is not good. Uh, we have a total of three spices. One's to Gandhi. Uh, demands cotton, that's funny. Golden Age ends, that's unfortunate. That's part of our culture expansion. Um, iron, iron, we can get to that. Yeah, we will address that. He's only got one melee, so that should be real easy. Upgrades. Losing grasp on Leventa. Oh, look at this. Frigate. And some landed units. So is he coming for Portugal? Is he coming for us? I don't know. Um, we have a little bit of navy in the area that can defend... And we're not quite ready to declare war, so... Or maybe he's just moving things down to Chula in preparation of attacking him. Or he could land here to attack him, I don't know. We don't know what's up there yet. Aluminum connected for Samarkand, that's good. Hey, look at this. Uh, losing grasp on Vanza Congo, losing grasp on Leventa. Okay. Egypt has denounced India, China has denounced Greece, Japan has denounced India, Songhai has denounced Greece. So everybody hates everybody. <sighs> okay. Well, we're about to lose these two. And it sucks because the vote's coming up. Not that it matters. I don't think we're not doing things, important things like world ideology or whatever. My concern is that if we miss out... Who are you? Congolese. We know we've seen a lot of Congolese caravels all, all around the world. And those don't scare me that much. Um, this particular army, though... Two Gatling guns, a rifleman, pikeman. No, I guess that doesn't scare me so much. I thought it was stronger, but maybe they've been fighting and he lost something. There's a lot of icons, but um, we're better prepared now. Maybe, yeah, let's move him over there. Just in case Greece happens to buy one of these guys. He's got uh, altitude training, so he's not totally useless. And these guys are going to Beijing. We're pretty much one turn away from having them into position, at which point I should feel perfectly fine about everything over there. Um, anyways, spices. Oh, that's what it is. India, one extra, and the one we keep for ourselves. Okay, that's why I couldn't find the other one. Right? Yeah, there's the two. Okay. And the deal with uh, India just started. So it becomes a question of, will we want to burn down Sin Sun San within the next 30 turns. We already estimated that uh, this is going to take... Uh, I thought we are at a new turn, so we lost a turn in the production of this? Oh, because the golden age ends. Alright, so yeah, the math I was doing was based on that inflated rate. Um, okay. So this will be closer to 63 plus 972 minus 3 hammers. Okay, that, that, that aggregates a little bit. So about 15-ish turns. How long would it take to build the actual planes? Uh, da, 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 da. 325. Whoo! So that's almost five turns per plane. 
All right, so I guess what that means is we can afford to sell off one of our spices because there's absolutely no way we're going to be burning down Sun Sun Sen before one of these gets back. And we will want to keep the one going to India going because we're friends. So when that one from Askia comes back, that's when we'll put a freeze on trading spices. Oh, this is too ripe to pass up on. So we'll just do that. Bam. Okay. Easy. Um, privateer heals. We would like for one this guy to be able to heal. These two should be able to hit that. Bam, bam. Alright. He heals, and I suppose I can go ahead and weaken this up more. Although, knowing that we're about to be losing this, I'd feel a little more comfortable if some of these guys are ready to break off in that direction. Okay, I'm not seeing the Grease Caravel. Um, let's see here. We'll bring him over uh, this way for the visibility inland here, just to know if these guys should come over here. Doesn't appear to be the case. We can get some inland visibility here. Uh, this guy's pretty close to the coast. Okay. While we can see these, let's take a look at what's going on here. Well, neither one of them have range, so if we have one come in here... They have the same mobility, it looks like. Okay, so we can take a shot there, just for the experience sake. Take a shot there, go around... Okay, that fully kills him. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Okay, this is the kind of thing I wanted to see. So we'll get our privateer out here, protected by the bigger batter boat. <laughs> okay, as per usual, we're going to move the guy from behind first. <clears throat> um, we could use him to stomp this, or this, because it's out of bombard range. So let's save our ranged boats as much as possible. Um, he should be able to come all the way to here and still hit that privateer. Uh, we will need to get this guy out of the way. Can you reach this this turn? Um, let's count it out. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Easily. So yeah, we do need to get this guy out of the way. He's only got a range of two, so that could be the one that shoots from there. Very good. Okay. So he comes in here, kills... Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's got to be there. There we go, and I'm going to stomp that. And now these guys can zoom. <sighs> Very good. So we're going to have to drop him off at My Sinai, which only has a library to burn. We can't sell the workshop because we are building ironworks. So these guys just uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, let me start with the furthest back one, see if we can... Yeah, because we can stop, like, one here. This is, like, a hex short just to get some more experience along the way. This is more like two hex shorts. Two hexes short. But as long as we keep everybody together, that's good enough. So something like that's fine, I think. Okay. Scout lands this turn. There is a um, Lancer there, but... Yeah, so for that reason, let's... Count this out. If he moved here, that's one hex, two, three, four. So he can capture here. So let's get the worker in. And I guess we land the scout next turn. Because there's no point getting hit. He's there to protect the great general. Alright, aluminum is mined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy hop into our road system, come up here come up here because I noticed there's aluminum in our borders now um, and this is nice because these guys are all about to finish up and then we can spread them out just as oil shows up so that's pretty good timing there um, we'll get the admiral out of the city tile that way under no circumstances do I forget to remove him from this burn down next turn uh, Montezuma has declared war on Maria. Okay, now we know where the boats were going. Uh, he wants Maria. Okay. Now, with our navy, we 
Well, there's not much we could do, really. Killed a song high spy. All right, here we go. Now we're actually going to be able to get out of happy, out of unhappiness, and stay there. Uh, not by much, but it is enough to be able to come on here and say, "All right, get you guys back to growing," because they're only going to grow to a certain point, anyways. And of course, this city, as much as they grow, it's fine as long as we can manage the happiness, which we're actually doing a fairly terrible job at. Um, let's see, hotels, stadium. Okay, that's the next opportunity for happiness buildings. And that does offshore rigs, so we'll probably come into electronics, maybe atomic theory for the academy boosts, and give our workers something to do, and maybe come back in refrigeration so we have access to hotels. It's all going to be based on what actually needs to happen. China has denounced Egypt. Gandhi has to... <laughs> With what? We just revived him. He's got nothing. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. Okay, it's uh in name only kind of situation. Alright, we're bringing our thief up, which is good. Oh, he's protecting a knight. I wish I could influence that this turn, but I can't. Um, clearly he can't see us or he would have attacked, so let's do that just to get as close as possible. So next turn we can start trying to steal stuff. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe it's time to bring him inland just to see what we can do to obstruct and whatnot. Um, keep in mind, the, the problem here is that he cannot build a meaningful navy. He's got Chula and that's it. So my guess is he wants Funchal for the purpose of... Um, having the ability to make a navy. So if that does happen, we are going to have to put an end to it. And it looks like he's backing off here, and the city's going to be burned down anyway. So it is time for these guys to bug out. Uh, let's see here. We got some. This one would be safe to capture because it's out of bombard range if we were capable of... Yeah, we can bring them down here, attack from there, have the privateer come down here. We don't really want another privateer, though. <clears throat> and we definitely don't want to be damaging our melee boats if we can avoid it. So what I will do is, it looks as if he couldn't see us. We'll back up like that, protect the ranged boats. Okay, you're heading to, luckily that guy got out of the way. Uh, you're gonna... Can you land? Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay. Well, if I'm gonna land, I might as well do it in the city tile. Save on the maintenance. Okay, we'll move this into the city tile like so. We'll move him down here and him down here. And now we got lots of visibility and can be seen if he was to bring units... She was to bring units over. So Beijing is officially reinforced, which is good. As for these guys, I'm not sure. Um, main Navy's coming through. Uh, looks like he's got a privateer there. So I will finish it off with this guy. So how many shots do we need to put in? At least one. Um, how much damage can this guy do to it? Not enough. He can do about 59. He can do about 30. We can do about 36. So it looks like we wouldn't want to put two shots in it anyways. And we need to get this guy to some place where he can heal. But that's not going to happen until we actually capture Farsalos. So yeah, I'm confident <coughs> in quote-unquote wasting a sh uh, shot on that to make sure it gets sunk. Who needs XP the most after that? Uh, he's not triple promoted yet, so that's the one. But he does have range, so we can come all the way out to here and make it happen. And there we go. I don't know what the city-state's uh, obsession with privateers is, but there we go. Okay, main navy's coming through. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean we can't mix and match. What I'm getting at is these guys are to the south, so maybe have like one of them head over to Lisbon. Because that was going to be part of the plan anyways. At least one. Probably two. Let's just count this up real quick. We got 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One's got to sit on the sidelines. Ten boats here. Ten ship of the lines in this strait. Um, six is probably good for a main navy. That leaves us with four. One needs to sit around and heal somewhere. That leaves us with three. So yeah, we can have two break off to Lisbon. Maybe one break off to the southern area or up here. I'm not too worried about up here because the ones from Beijing can get over here in a couple turns, but um, maybe that's the way to go. Two over here, one down here, one up here. And there's exactly four here, um, but there's exactly four here. Okay, what we can do is have these runtier ones head over to be... One can be the south. Um, we should have good ones going over to Lisbon. Because whatever goes over to Lisbon might get isolated later on. So yeah, we'll have these two head over to Lisbon. They're triple promoted with range. Um, Farsalos is very exposed, so I don't feel the need to favor the range of three here because we got lots of spi uh, spaces. And then when it comes time for Kyoto, we'll be having battleships, indirect fire, increased range. So, yeah, having a couple of veterans head over to Lisbon for their inland navy makes sense, especially now that we know Montezuma's heading for Portugal. Um, we don't know when exactly we're going to declare war on him, but we might have to get involved over there. If he takes Funchal, we're going to have to take it from him and then burn it down. And as you know from our happiness, we're not really in a position to be doing that too much. Okay, so the runts... One can go to the south, one can go into our main bay. That seems good. So we'll consider everybody around Mice and I to be our new main navy. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. And what this means is that we can afford having these guys kind of just hang around the area. So we'll go ahead and soften up what we can. And uh, we can have... Eh, he could use a little more health. We'll do this. This is the last turn the privateer can afford to stay on this tile. And so that's another reason why I want to go ahead and... There's nothing dangling in the water. This is the other thing we got to keep in mind, too, is we might be in a race for Japan, with Japan, for Farsalos. So as long as we can make the killing blow, that's all that really matters. And we are well equipped to ensure that, so I'm not too worried there. Okay, now it is safe to land, and it looks like uh, the uh, Lancer has dispersed, so we can get back to ripping up roads somewhat. Okay, so we are past the half hour mark, and uh, managing, managing. Uh, universal health care usually is a relatively bad policy, but it was necessary. We're scraping for every piece of happiness we can find. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.